Hey, 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 guess who it is? It's your favorite Puerto Rican, Coach Manny. So I'm driving, but I'm a safe driver. Think of it as talking to someone in the passenger seat, but not, not looking at them while I talk. And that's exactly what I'm focused on, is my driving while I'm enjoying and sharing my message. Today's message, today's message is something that's dear in my heart and on my mind. That, number one, I was this person at one time as well when I was trying to get my business out there years ago um, when I was in other different ventures. And I did not understand what providing valuable content meant. You see, at one time, I was the spaminator. I was that person that's just like, get my product, get my service. It's the best thing since sliced bread. Whatever. But here's the thing. Now that I understand this, as a marketer and helping my clients, the first thing I had to do was, oh, I had to own that skill. I had to understand what it was. So about three years ago, I started learning how to, I started learning how to market using what's called attraction marketing. So the, the goal when it comes to attraction marketing is that you put out content that, that attracts your target audience to you. It attracts your target market to you. Here's how that works. Here's how that looks. When, okay, so you're in an industry, right? You're in an industry. If you don't know, if you don't know what problems people are faced with in your industry, you're in the wrong industry. You're in the wrong industry because you have something that you can offer, right? You have some some service, some products, some value that you can offer. There's something behind that. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. What good is that product to your audience? What good is it? Meaning is meaning yes, maybe you have the best mechanic, the best widget on the face of the earth. But does it solve a problem? Does your product solve a problem? What is the problem that people are faced with that your product or service solves? See, that's the message you want to get out. You want to share with people that you know what they're facing, you know what the problems that they're faced with and here's a solution. But how do you do that? I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. I'm a big fan of videos. I believe I believe that videos is the number one conversion tool. It's the number one way to convert people to that no like and trust factor they need in order to come to you, in order to buy your product or your service. They need to know what you're about. And I, I love videos for that exact reason. But how do you provide value? It doesn't matter if it's a blog post, it doesn't matter if it's a podcast. You want to you want to ask a question, for example, I help people get leads for their business, right? So what I want to do is I want to share with people how to get leads for their business. But I don't talk about use our service, use my marketing skills, hire me as a coach. I don't forget all of that. I focus on providing value that get, that sends the message across to people that I'm a solution, that I can help them with that problem, that my service can help them with the problem they're faced with. In my case, a lot of people want to build their build an authority figure in their industry, build themselves as an authority figure in their industry. But here's the thing, how do you do that? How do you do that without being a spaminator? You solve the problem. So if you're in, let's just use real estate. 
Let's just use realtors, for example. What is something that people are faced with? First-time home buyers, right? They, there are first-time home buyers out there all the time. What if you had content that was educating people? Your content is educating people how to find that first home, how to shop for that first home, how to avoid the pitfalls of first-time home buyers. If you have content all around that shows people how to be that first-time home buyer, who are they gonna come to? That person that they're constantly seeing videos, blog posts, podcasts, uh, documents, PDFs, eBooks, someone who is well-versed in first-time home buyership, right? That's how you become an authority figure because when they're doing their research, guess who's popping up? You are. It doesn't matter what industry you're in. I'll give you an example. One of my clients is a mortgage loan officer. Last week, we did a live video, right? The, the focus of it was, hey, inventory's low, but, but building, but new home constructions on the rise. So that was our target for the video. Like, I hear realtors all day long. We need inventory, we need inventory. What they need is sellers to sell their home and pick them as their realtors, what they really wanted to say. But at the end of the day, show people that there's a solution to their problem. Show people that there's a solution. So in this case, my mortgage loan officer did a video and the focus, like I said, was, hey, inventory's low, new home construction's on the rise. but. One thing stood out, and the reason why I asked him to, to talk about this was because while I was there, he took two phone calls, and business is always important. So if we're in a meeting, business is happening. I'm not asking people to stop taking phone calls and stop doing business. That's why I, I stay longer than an hour because there's a good chance it's gonna run over. But in the two conversations, I heard him say something that stuck out to me and I thought maybe it would stick out to other people and I said you told those two those two clients lock in those rates and I had him explain to me what that is and I said you know what that's pretty catchy why don't you go ahead and do your video this week today and throw that in there lock in your rates he did that and let me tell you within five minutes of doing that live video he had someone reach out to him saying hey should I lock in my rates? Should I lock in my rates at least through September? You see what I mean? He hit an emotional point with them. His goal was to provide valuable content. It wasn't about use my product. It was, it, it was, the goal wasn't even in about locking in the rates. He was more saying, this is what's going on. This is what's, what's happening. Just providing valuable content right? So think about that. He provided content. He stuck out to them. He's been doing videos every week now. So the consistency is there. And then he reached out and someone was like, hey, should I lock in my rate? That wasn't his goal with the video. The video wasn't even about locking in the rate. You see what I mean? So when you focus on providing valuable content, and again, solve problems. Show people that you have a solution for a problem you know they are faced with. So I hope you got some value from this because at the end of the day, it's about value. So what is the value you're providing to your audience? What is our, what is our goal with everything that we do? What is our goal with everything that we do? Build your audience, engage your audience, sell your audience. You cannot sell your audience until you've built them up, you've engaged them, they know, like, and trust you. They will come to you. For example, that video I just talked about, the gentleman came to him. Wouldn't you rather have that on a regular basis happen to you? That's what providing valuable content is about. 
I'm Coach Manny Rodriguez with Catman Marketing. I hope you got some value from this. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this video. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are always looking to provide valuable content. Just like I'm just trying to get you to do. Provide valuable content. And as you can tell, completely safe on my drive here. I was focused on my road while providing my valuable content. Go out there and make it happen. Excuses are for people who really don't want to move forward. Don't have excuses, have results, get results. Provide valuable content, you will get results. I'm Coach Manny with Catman Marketing, and at the end of the day, we just wanna provide content to you. And I look forward to seeing you again, and I'm sure I'll see you very soon. Talk to you later. Peace.